China consistently ranks first in the world for engineering accomplishments. The Three Gorges Dam is one of the amazing engineering feats that we will explore today. How did it become such a marvelous creation? What does it do? To find out more about it, stay tuned. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. The Three Gorges Dam, a hydroelectric gravity dam, spans the Yangtze River in the town of Sandouping in the province of Hubei in central China. It is situated in Yichang's Yiling District. TGP's legal entity, the China Three Gorges Corporation, or CTGPC, is responsible for directing the planning, administration, and financial aspects of the project. The Three Gorges Dam, which has an installed capacity of 22,500 megawatts, has held the title of largest power plant in the world since 2012. After the intense monsoon rains of 2020, the dam's yearly production almost reached 112 TWH, breaking the previous record of 103 TWH achieved by Itaipu Dam in 2016. The power plant for the dam project was built and operating at full capacity as of July 4, 2012, when the last of the subterranean facility's major water turbines began working. Each primary water turbine has a 700 megawatts capacity. When the 32 main turbines of the dam are paired with two smaller generators, each 50 megawatts to power the facility, the total electric producing capacity of the dam is 22,500 MW. The project's last key element, the ship lift, was completed in December 2015. The dam enables the passage of ocean-going freighters while generating hydroelectric power. The efficiency of flood protection was another objective. However, it has been questioned. Three Gorges is approximately 594 feet in height and 7,770 feet. The Three Gorges Reservoir, which the dam creates, has a surface area of around 400 square miles and stretches 370 miles upstream from the dam. The project was completed in three phases over a period of 17 years, from 1993 to 2009. The Yangtze River's main channel was closed off, and its water was redirected into a side channel during the initial phase of construction from 1993 to 1997, so that the dam could be built. The second phase lasted six years from 1998 through 2003. The hydroelectric plant, the locks, and the coffer dam were all constructed during this time. The coffer dam is a temporary barrier that prevents flooding in an area that's repeatedly inundated. Certainly, there has been a lot of discussion over the Three Gorges Dam project in the areas of business, technology, the environment, immigration, tourism, and protection. The 39 trillion kilos of Yangtze River water that gathered there during construction lifted the area behind the Three Gorges Dam 175 meters above sea level. As a result, the rotation slowed down, but the Earth's moment of inertia remained almost the same. Although its usefulness has been questioned, the dam was built to shield millions of people from flooding in the Yangtze Basin. China saw its worst floods in more than 30 years in 2020, and the dam's reservoir was at its highest level since it started holding water in 2003, while detractors said that the extreme floods revealed the dam's shortcomings as a workable flood control tool. Authorities insisted that the dam actually lessened the damage and fatalities caused by the storm. China's National Development and Reform Commission claims that the Three Gorges Dam has the potential to reduce annual coal consumption by up to 31 million tons. Considering that 366 grams of coal are required to produce one kilowatt hour of energy, the dam can sustain present electricity levels while avoiding more than 100 million tons of emissions annually. 10,000 tons of carbon monoxide are also included. High quantities of hydropower are produced by the Three Gorges Dam, which decreases the need to transport and purify coal for electricity generation. The energy savings lowered carbon dioxide emissions by up to 10 million tons in utility operational expenses within the region by up to 25% by expanding barge capacity while reducing train and overland vehicle trips. It provides a source of renewable energy. Although some may disagree, hydropower is seen as a renewable resource despite its effects on fisheries and water flow. It uses water as fuel, which is a clean fuel. It is a sustainable source of energy that also enables localized irrigation along the Yangtze where it may be required. This makes it a dependable source of future power for the area while also presenting fresh business prospects including boating, swimming, and fishing. The proposal for the Three Gorges Dam was first considered in the 1920s by Chinese Nationalist Party leaders. It received new life in 1953 when Chinese leader Mao Zedong ordered feasibility studies of various locations. The project started to be carefully planned in 1955. However, the project was not without its critics. According to its supporters, it would prevent severe floods along the Yangtze, ease inland trade, and supply central China with much-needed electricity. The Three Gorges project faced opposition both before it was developed and after the proposals were presented. 
Among the main concerns were a potential dam failure and the destruction of numerous valuable architectural and historic artifacts. There were concerns that the vast volume of water placed in the reservoir could trigger earthquakes and landslides, as well as concerns that the reservoir would become contaminated by human and industrial waste from nearby communities. Some of these concerns turned out to be true. A few smaller, cheaper, and less problematic dams on Yangtze tributaries, according to some Chinese and European engineers, might produce as much power as the Three Gorges Dam and regulate flooding just as effectively. They argued that building those dams would allow the government to accomplish its key objectives without running the danger of failure. Due to these issues, construction on the Three Gorges Dam was put off for nearly 40 years as the Chinese government deliberated whether to move forward with the project's designs. Premier Li Peng, an engineer by training, was finally successful in convincing the National People's Congress to approve the dam project in 1992, despite the fact that nearly a third of the body's members abstained or voted against it. This was an unprecedented display of opposition from a typically compliant body. President Zhang Zemin did not attend to the dam's official inauguration in 1994, and the World Bank declined to provide China money for the project because of serious environmental and other concerns. Nevertheless, the Three Gorges project went forward. In 1993, construction on the site's access roads and electricity began. By obstructing and rerouting the river, construction workers completed the first phase of the project in 1997. When the reservoir began to fill, the five-tier ship locks that allowed ships of up to 10,000 tons to pass the dam were put into preliminary operation, and when the first of dam's generators was connected to the grid, the second phase of construction was complete. After the second phase was completed, rising flooding caused the middle sections of the Yangtze River to lose about 1,200 sites of historical and archaeological significance. According to some geologists, we should give rivers room to spread out during the flood season rather than rely on dams to prevent floods. During the rainy season, large alluvial rivers naturally overflow. Flooding is a natural occurrence along rivers and is not an issue. The issue is that when there are numerous people residing in flood-prone areas, explained Shankman. Despite producing a record amount of energy, the Three Gorges Dam is still inefficient. The distribution infrastructure for local electricity is still lagging behind total output capacity. Due to the fact that a sizable percentage of the distribution is also centered in urban areas, rural communities which have carried the majority of the weight of this attempt receive little in the form of incentives. Along the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze are some of China's most populous regions. Since ancient times, Levees have been built to protect communities and agricultural areas from flooding. These precautions, however, are not faultless. Some analysts claim that because the climate problem is expected to result in more frequent and larger floods, China will be forced to develop new solutions for future generations. One of the biggest dams ever built is the Three Gorges Dam in China. Was it worthwhile? Let us know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to us.